Um, he plays most of the weird matchups. <laughs> um, so they're striking stages. They're going to start on Smashville. Right. Let's, let's like, check this out. I'm excited. Off, off you go. The Roost. <laughs> so Terry's using the Kukui tag to strike fear in the hearts of uh, <laughs> of no one that speaks Spanish up there. Uh, I don't I don't know the relevance of Kukui, but all right. Uh -huh. So it looks like they're pairing off. Yeah, with uh, the Dittos. Exactly the Ditto yeah. the Ditto pair off. It's an interesting decision because Mike and Tyron play each other so much. It's really hard to get a gauge on them because they they are playing each other more than they're playing the game. Almost a team combo there. Yeah. Inadvertent. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice. Very clutch tipper forward smash by Tyrant on Mike. Mike's the first one to lose a stock. Already at a slight disadvantage, but I'm sure they'll bring it back. Yeah. Tyrant's doing a really good job keeping his percent low. Um, yeah. And that's gonna... I'm actually surprised to see that Foe is the one taking the most hits, because he likes to hang back usually from yeah. what I've seen in the past. Yeah, it really depends on the ooh. Really depends on the team dynamic. But what's interesting about this matchup, though, is that the kills are mostly gonna come from tippers from Arts. Other than that, you're gonna get like shuttle loops. But other than that, yep. I'm expecting people to live long. Oh, right there, prime opportunity to punish. But again, oh, nothing. Yeah. Nice. Right. Tyron is playing. When Foe's right there, Tyrant plays so risky because he knows Foe's there to back him up. And that's the type of thing that the advantages they get to do as a team. Uh, so I guess for people that can't see or don't know, um, Tyrant's the, mar the red Marth, Foe's red meta, and yes. Mike's green Marth, Terry's green meta. Yeah. I think they actually have the colors and the... Even better. It's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Tony with the future site there. Um, Boom. Oh, very nice up there. Bye. So <laughs> they just reset everything. Exactly, just going for the ledge right there. China. Yeah. I'm I'm really interested in watching Terry and Foe play because they're such quirky players, both of them. Um, oh, poor attempt right there to get that stock on Tyrant. And now they're heavily risking yeah. it, but Mike and Terry are pretty risky players sometimes. Yeah, there's just so much offstage shenanigans going on right now. <laughs> I'm so surprised no one's died out of any of that. I was about to say, the entire left hand, like left hand side of the screen is just couple of players yeah but eventually Mike Mike is out, out there for a little too long so he's oh. no follow up right there grab the throw so in this type of matchup this is where the first person to drop their stock I mean dropping your stock is normally a disadvantage but in a game like this where characters should be living for a long time it's really bad to be a stock down, and I think oh, Mike's been suffering from that right there. Um, from the start. And yeah, um, shuttle didn't quite pay off. And there we'll go, Fo. So, so when Marth does his up smash, isn't Art his feet count as hitboxes as well? Or they do, and they will bring, they will knock into the blade. Okay. But sometimes if you DI properly, you'll go too far to the side and then you avoid the up, the damaging part of the up smash. Okay. Um, so if they would have wanted to bring it back right now, oh, I guess now it's just yeah. like the 2v1. Yeah, now it's going to be a lot of Terry running away unless this happens. And, then and now they got to just try and style on him, exactly. basically. But yeah, I feel like this entire match was kind of dictated from Mike dropping his first stock early to Tyrant's forward smash. Because it's just really hard and it, none of these characters have any like clutch moves or like a turnip that could be a stitch face or a fart or something that really changes the tide. A very gradual match. Yeah, it's, it's very it's gradual. Yeah. So when you die early to a random forward smash, it's going to suffer a lot more in a game like this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the first match goes to uh, Tyrant and Foe. I wonder what they're going to counter pick with. So I feel like in this situation, Terry and Mike would be really interested in going maybe to Battlefield just because Mike has such good experience there. Yeah. But they might mix it up. Um, what do you think the likelihood is that they'll go to Yoshi's Island? Yoshi's Island? I don't think anyone actually likes Yoshi's Island. And the only time people pick that is when it benefits their character. And since it's the same characters, I don't see a Yoshi's ever happening. Just because it's such a universally not fun stage. <laughs> um, so yeah, Battlefield, you're right. 
Um, I know Mike feels really comfortable here. Okay. So now it seems that it paired off uh, not doing the dittos. Yeah, Meta Knight and Marth is oh. maybe an idea. All right, <laughs> those the trades right there. Makers. <laughs> So it almost looks like as if um, Mike and Taryn are just doing footsies right in the center. Yeah. Playing their own little game of Street Fighter while Terry and Foe are just, just trying to grab the ledge. Exactly. That's exactly it. Um, but oh, both capitalize. The percents are really even right now. And it's... Everyone's just going to slowly gain percent. And then the first person die needs to get a revenge kill fast. Because otherwise the percents are going to keep climbing. And they'll be at 60 or 70 before everyone else hits their second stock. So it's really important to play safe right now. Oh, nice, Terry. Getting foe right down there on the bottom. Yeah, foe, foe likes to play really dangerous, but when you're down there, one tiny tech error and you're going you're gonna to die. Right, so we'll see if your, your theory is correct of the, yeah. the first stock dropping and then him having a huge advantage. Yeah. Ooh, oh. excellent capitalization right there. Okay, cool. So... Oh, we got a good catch on to uh, on Mike there. What I'm actually been surprised about is um, that Terry and Mike have not hit each other. Like um, usually with so many swords and disjointed hitboxes flying across the screen, you're going to see some some team attacking or like you're attacking your partner. But yeah. they've been a pretty good job of avoiding each other. They keep a certain distance from each other, and they're always on the outsides of the skirmishes, yeah. kind of poking in. And I think they have a good job of getting the spacing down for that. So when it's those skirmishes, they normally end up on top. But it's when it separates is normally when both of them seem to struggle in the in the individuals. Right. Ooh. <laughs> Almost. That would have been terrible. It's a good thing uh, Mike held it. Oh, someone got the edge? No. Okay. Not at all. He ends up saving, saving Tyron and then dying. And now Mike down a stock for the yep. whole team, so three to four. Oh. Excellent up there. Three to three now, and, and that'll be not nope. a stock. Excellent DI from Tyrant. That was that was very well done. Uh, still yeah. not it. Almost got him. Yeah, there we got go. the back end. That'll do it. Even though it's slightly stale, the back end is much stronger than the front end. I think one of the most interesting parts of like uh, doing doubles is when you have them. If you have both characters in a team combo, you you get to choose, especially in brawl, where you know, there are very few true combos. You yeah. have to choose who you want to follow up on. Yeah. And it's also, like, similar to that is when someone's recovering and you get to decide, do I want to go for this Gimp or should I apply pressure on the other person? Yeah. And give them a free chance. Oh, oh no. So it's now two stocks of two stocks. Yeah. So you gotta push oh. them off. Mike is really going for the spikes at the edge there. I don't think he wants this game to go on very much longer. Oh. Nice. But he's doing a good job following up hits right now. Landed on the ledge. Mm -hmm. Doing a small mistake right there, but we'll see if he can... Oh, get back. Terry's doing a really good job playing really defensively right now. Um, everyone else is approaching that mid to high percent. Oh, no. Oh, oh. That would have been a tragedy. Um, Mike needs to there. live. He needs to survive this. and He, he makes it back. Good job of Terry actually keeping the pressure on Foe so he can stay in his shield. Yeah, making sure that he couldn't just go out and get, get Mike because Foe's the type of player that will go for it. Oh, how's he going to get? Yeah. Nice. Great choice there. Yeah. Mike's doing a good job of positioning himself so he takes the across the stage hits. So even though he's a high percent, he's still not going to die until he goes for risky stuff. Okay, let's see this. Good punishes. It oh. actually sometimes, there's a weird dynamic with players where now that Mike's almost dead, mm -hmm. he has the adrenaline and he has the focus playing well. Yeah. But the more he gets hits and people are trying to kill him, they get flustered that he's not dead yet. Uh, I understand. And that. if you can hold that, it's a really powerful mental block that you can put over people. <laughs> oh, nice oh. save from Bo. Oh. But the stage spike at the end anyway. Um, so Mike really needs to live here. Nope. Oh. And okay, Evan. so... Okay, soon. Now we so got a Meta Knight Ditto, basically even. All right, in this matchup, do you think who do you think is better at the, at the Ditto, um, Terry or Foe? I think Foe practices more. I I know Terry still comes out to events, but I don't know how much 
time he still puts into the game. Okay. But Foe plays a lot, so I think Foe will probably have the upper hand. But you can't count out Terry. There's still very good players each to them. Oh, and El Kukui glad for the <laughs> recovery there. That uh, platform really saved Terry from from the punish. That's oh, good that's idea. A good oh, oh, that. punish. Nice. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And Foe, oh. Foe is so sure he had it. Goes for the taunt. Oh, very dangerous roll there. Part of me feels like Terry's gonna get something really, really random. Like, oh. Nice. Yeah, and that'll be it. That's a set. That was winner semis or winner. Yeah, that was winner semis. All right, so cool. Awesome. They take a 2-0.